web-based attack. This demo shows a hacking process to a JCS web server and the SANG4 NGFW's capability to defend the intrusion. The final objective of this intrusion is to tamper the logo of a social security website to a hacker JPEG file. To start hacking, we use the IBM Rational Scanner to scan the targeted server. HTTP 192.168.3.100 aiming to find out the server information and loopholes that can be utilized for the hacking. The scan has exposed 32 security issues on the targeted application. For this demo, we will utilize the SQL injection vulnerability to conduct the intrusion. We will use Pangolin injection, which can take advantage of SQL injection vulnerabilities on web applications for hacking purpose. As we can see, it has already managed to strip down the website and retrieve the database, getting the sensitive database information of user, password and phone. This is the initial stage of the intrusion. To achieve further target, we will use the user information to log into the website. Go to Homepage, use a retrieved username and password to log into the website and gain user access privilege. The next step for us is to upload a webshell trojan, Xiaofan, to the website. Since we are using an authorized user identity, Zhangshan, to upload file, and apparently the website haven't restricted the file format, we can manage to upload the trojan file without being detected and blocked. The trojan uploaded to the website is to gain the control authority, which will read and retrieve the files and path further to tamper or upload or download files to its hosted website. Now, the process can be fairly simple. The next step for us is to log into the injected Trojan, utilize the hosted Trojan to upload the hacker file to website, change the file name to header.jpg, which is supposed to be the picture file of the website's logo.
And now, we should have managed to successfully tamper the website's logo. Go to the targeted website. It is confirmed that the website has been hacked. Intrusion completed. The above demo was to show the entire process of a cyber attack. Next, we will show how Sang4 NGFW can help to prevent the intrusion. To start over, we restore the website to original status. To facilitate demo, we don't remove the Trojan, but change the tampered header.jpg back to the hacker.jpg so that the original header file can work well again and the website becomes normal. Go to Sang4 NGFW, enable WAF protection to this server and portal application including the OWASP Top 10 Threats Prevention and all those server protection techniques of application hiding, password protection, privilege, HTTP, website scan prevention, etc. Start the hacking process again from the website scanning. Obviously, the scanning has been blocked by the Sang4 NGFW, with communication problems showing on the IBM Rational Scanner. Go to Sang4 NGFW dashboard to check the detailed scanning attack information. The attack times, type, threatened server, source IP of attacker, and the action Sang4 NGFW took has already been logged. The scanning has failed. However, we can still do the injection since we already know the server has got SQL vulnerability. But since the NGFW prevention has been enabled, it won't succeed, but we'll show pausing here. Go to Sang4 NGFW, confirm that the injection has been detected and blocked, and the log shows the details about this attack. The SQL injection is failed. However, since the Trojan file is still left on the web server, hacker can still try to tamper web page using this existing Trojan file. To prevent the tampering, enable the website anti-defacement function of Sang4 NGFW.
Now, go to the Trojan file. Conduct the same action of tampering website as we did previously. We can see, although the file has been tampered, the website remains unchanged. In other words, the hacker failed to tamper the website. This is because the SANG4 NGFW has detected the tampering intrusion and has intelligently forwarded the original website that it has caged, avoiding damages even when the hackers succeed to intrude the website. The NGFW log has also directly positioned the tampered file for IT admins' further action and prevention. The above has shown the SANG4 NGFW's prevention to threats of website scanning, SQL injection, and website tampering. However, one key step of the hacking is uploading Trojan to website, and that will also be one crucial part of SANG4 NGFW's preventions. Next, we will demo how SANG4 NGFW can block Trojan file uploading. Same with previous process, we log into the website using a legal user identity and upload the same Trojan file we have used previously. However, since the SANG4 NGFW protection has been enabled, it won't succeed. Go to the SANG4 NGFW dashboard. The web shell threats have been detected and logged, including the weak password threats we have just used. Jiang Shan, password. Data Packet Body has also been recorded for administrators' further analysis and decision-making of the threat's prevention.